Hey, how's it going? It's Vinny Bravo on YouTube. And I just had UPJ surgery about, about five days ago. Probably one of the most challenging surgeries I have ever had in my life. And I am still recovering from nose surgery, which that was cake compared to this one. And you can take a look at the bandages here. Looks like this. Basically, I had a, a robot work on me. A robot. And the robot had like five different hands to work on the to work on the uh, the area. So UPJ, uh, I forget what it stands for, but basically I had a clog in the ureter, which was a tube connected to the one of my kidneys. So basically I had one kidney functioning and the other one didn't even do anything. It just holding it just holds like fluid in that spot. So basically I had it repaired. And it's quite a process. So uh, with the Da Vinci Robotics, it's actually a lot better to use the Da Vinci Robotics. So instead of using a huge incision, it's like six different small incisions. It enables uh, recovery uh, to be a lot quicker. That's what I read. Um, but yeah. Uh, Surgery in your abdominum abdominal area is quite challenging because because you use your abdominals for like nearly everything that you do. So the most painful part is like getting up and getting into bed. But luckily, like in the hospital bed, they have like this bar where I could just grab onto and I could put I could just grab myself up on to the bed with a little bit more ease instead of being in crazy amount of pain in my midsection which was which is great I like that um, but yeah I was in the hospital for about uh, I think about three days three or four days and the nurses were pretty awesome uh, they took care of me pretty well didn't know I had to be on a liquid diet like right afterwards, but I guess you you got to be on a liquid diet for your 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 organs to get used to to wake up again. Basically, I guess your organs like go to sleep and then they uh, start waking up. But it took a while, and uh, the the key is to really uh, eat the right foods, plenty of vegetables, plenty of fruit, get plenty of sleep, drink a lot of fluid. A lot of fluid um, and I try to go for a lot of walks because when you walk around you circulate and it circulates blood flow because in your midsection there's not there's not really as much blood flow as as in the facial area because I've had I've had no surgery jaw surgery wisdom teeth removal cysts removed in the top of my head all that stuff heals quick because in the face you constantly have blood flow because Blood's constantly flowing to your brain. But for this, like to enable blood flow, you got you got to move. You have to walk. You got to maybe call a friend to get to go out and walk somewhere because I mean you're not going to be driving if you're on painkillers. Uh, I try to be uh, good with my painkillers. Like sometimes I go six hours. Sometimes I I go way past that because you don't want to be addicted on the painkillers because um, that's not a good thing to have. And uh, I haven't seen many videos out there on UPJ. Uh, I'm just putting this out there so that maybe somebody else who's going to go through the same issue, maybe they could just see this and and and, and maybe ask me some questions about it. Uh, it's kind of scary because you're not you don't know what to expect. I thought I was going to wake up feeling like I got shot. I didn't feel like that at all. I felt pretty good. I actually kind of hallucinated when I woke up. So I was like, I started like answering questions that were like in my mind, but I wake up because I'd be saying them out loud. It was kind of weird that first day because I was so drugged up. Um, it's also good to avoid alcohol and smoking. I'm not a smoker at all. 
but I'd like to drink, but I haven't drank in alcohol in over like four months. So that kind of thing would probably help with like recovery and, and the whole like anesthesia process. Um, let's see what else. But yeah, that's UPJ surgery. There's other names for it. Let's see, the clogging of the ureter. Uh, sometimes it's hereditary, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's just something that's clogging that spot, something internally. And it's quite a recovery. Um, I had a catheter put in, which was crazy. I was not expecting that. Uh, I had a catheter put in, so I was basically in my bed for two days without even like leaving the spot. Um, and then there was the drain, the drain, ooh, the drain, like you have to, they monitor your drain, which is like a, uh, a filter. So basically it's filtering out any urine that's in that spot because they repaired that area, but there could be some urine in that area of your, of, near your kidney. So eventually they had to take out that filtered drain and when they pulled it out, ooh, I felt a stinging sensation. Definitely woke up a little bit after that. I mean, but it wasn't for very long. It was just like a few couple seconds. Uh, so, I mean, I would say it is probably my most painful surgery, but it's also the most challenging because I didn't know what to expect. And I mean, all surgeries, you don't really know what to expect. But this one was... One of those where there's like many different stages of it. There's actually a stent installed. So at some point, I got to go back to the doctor's office and, and get that stent removed. And you don't know, want, you don't even know, want to, you don't even know, you don't want to know how they're going to do that. So on that note, on that note, on that note, go Cadillac, have a nice day on YouTube.com.